hamstrings, also my shoulders, and sometimes all the way down my spine. The further away you go, you get a different stretch. You also can bring your hands pretty close and get a different stretch. Each time you inhale, you're going to roll your shoulders down your back and away from your ears. Um, usually, once I get a good stretch here, I bend my forearms and bring my chest down towards the ground. I bend my knees, bring my chest towards my knees, get a really good stretch all throughout my triceps, my back, and then straighten my knees. Back and forth. You could do this about 10 times and it feels really good. Um, that is one stretch. Then you can use a countertop to do the five different ranges of motion for your leg. And if you're not flexible enough to bring your foot all the way up here, you can use the chair. So I'll show you both of them. Um, you could do a hamstring stretch by just putting your leg up, squaring your hips, flexing your foot, pressing to the inner edge of your foot. If you need to stay here, that's great. If not, you can slowly, if you want a deeper stretch, you can slowly lean forward. So that stretches your hamstring. Second stretch would be to bring your leg up and twist your whole body uh, away from your leg. So this knee is facing up towards the ceiling. Your hip is facing the front. You're going to tuck your tailbone under and bring your hands out. That's the second range of motion. Third range of motion, you can do pigeon pose on the counter. So you can bend your knee and bring your knee up. If you feel this in your knee, you need to back off. And I'll show you the different stretch you can do on the chair. But um, if you want a deeper stretch and you can go this far, you could. Uh, bring your foot forward and then lean forward with your groin, groin towards the counter. Your bottom foot, you don't want to twist it this way or this way, just straight forward. You can go forward and back or just stay in that direction. Um, another range of motion that's super necessary is you're going to take your back leg as far back as you can front knee is right over your toes and you're going to use the counter to keep your chest up and your torso right over your hips and your back leg is straight back and you're going to sort of do a mini back bend so you can feel a really good stretch in your quads and your hip flexors. Another great stretch you could do is just by holding your um, Leg up and bringing your heel towards your bums, tucking your tailbone under and bringing your knees towards each other. Another great stretch for the IT band is you can cross your legs one direction and come straight down. If you get a good stretch here, great. If not, you can start twisting away from your front leg. Use everything you have. If you're super tight, you can just be here and that will work as well. And you want to do that on both sides.